little quick room tour. So let's follow this insane view from the windows while we get ready for the day. And then we have these six bunks in the bed. It's very spacious. I did my meditation here last night. And they have these drawers underneath where we could put all our stuff. And honestly, this was so good. Like 11 on 10 experience. The breakfast today was phenomenal. I would definitely come back here. This is called Stone City of Geocastle. And you can even see the castle on top. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so the first trip in my world tour is actually Albania and I made it! Oh my gosh. So this is Siri, uh, my best friend. <laughs> and we're probably doing a world trip after like, or like a country trip after like five years of planning. It's finally happening. Second time on the vlog. I know, second time. <laughs> you know, that's when it's good. <laughs> and Shiv is feeling shy, so he's walking ahead of us. We are currently in a small, charming city called Giro Castro which is also known as the city of a thousand steps because of how much uphill walking there is in the city. It felt like I had stepped back in time because of how well preserved all the ornament buildings were around me and they had that signature style of the black brick roofs and the white buildings. There was a central bazaar area with beautiful artisanal handicrafts made by the locals. There were so many different boutique shops selling things like carpets, hand-painted mugs, bowls, traditional Albanian clothes, postcards, and so many other small trinkets. There were a lot of tourists in this area walking around trying to buy souvenirs, and we also had so much fun exploring the narrow cobbled streets. The city is just so picturesque. It's like a storybook town where you have these cobbled street paths, little bazaars, and the very vibey city. I'll catch you guys at the castle. Okay, I think we're getting lost to the castle, so... We'll figure out the directions and then meet you at the top. So I think we're about halfway up and this is the view we have. It's so cool. One of the unique aspects of the city is the black stone that they have for the roofs and the white houses. That's very much like the Balkan and Greek style of building houses. Next, we found the route to the castle and made our way up the hill. It's one of the biggest in the Balkans. Albania has up to 158 castles, but this one is special because it dates back to almost the 13th century and used to house up to almost 5,000 soldiers. It's been used by many dictators, starting with the Byzantine rule, then the Ottoman Empire, and most recently it was King Zog who used it as a prison from the 1930s to the 1960s, and it used to hold anti-communist resistance members in the prison cells. Today, however, it sits as a museum, holding all the stories of the past with abandoned World War II tanks, but most people go there for the incredible views that you get of the city. It opens up to this panoramic view of the valley with the mountains as the backdrop, and it was literally breathtaking. Like, this is one of those moments where I'm like, how am I in Albania? How did I get here? I can't believe it. Okay, we are venturing down these dark steps into what we think is the prisons that served during the King Zog regime and also other rulers of the time. I have no idea what's in there. It's very dark. Okay. Wait, if you were calling me, you can go first. Can you see anything? We are going into the prison cell. It's extremely dark in here. And also very cold and oh my god I can't see anything but it looks like um, it's pretty big actually pretty big prison space it's very dark hide and seek guys I can hear a fly or something <laughs> 
very cool. I think that's about it. It just opens up into this bigger space where the cells used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Loki kind of creepy about someone. <laughs> So, we basically came to a restaurant in the same bazaar area and we've done a lot of damage to our bank accounts in terms of shopping that we just did. Um, I'll give you a haul tour once we get back to the hostel. But now we are waiting for food, which is here. <laughs> this is the vegetable dill soup with the bread. First bites. How is it? I'm not usually a fan of soup, this is good. Wow! It's called Let's try it out. This is the spread. We have vegetarian meatballs, stuffed and pan. This is the delicacy keef key. I'm very excited to try tzatziki, the soup. Thank you. And the potatoes. I'm so excited, this looks so good. So we've taken another break from shopping and got some iced coffee. It's like espresso. It's a freddo cappuccino but it's espresso at the bottom and cream on top. I usually like my coffees with more cream so I'm trying to mix it into the coffee. Shub finished his strawberry ice... What was it? Slushy. <laughs> and we're just sitting. of Giro Castle looks like. We got some, what flavor is this? Nutella and Oreo. Nutella and Oreo waffles with ice cream. Looks so good. Let's try it. Are <laughs> you feeding me? And we found out that there's some festival starting at 8 p.m. called the Kilim Fest that's happening this weekend. And they have a lot of like live music, they have live um, carpet workshops and live wool shearing workshops. So it's happening in a little bit. So we are just gonna wait until it turns 8. It's like 7.45 p.m. right now. And then we're gonna watch the live music for a bit and then head back to the hostel. But while we wait, we found this like magical spot to see the sunset because it's sunset time and the whole sky is like pink right now. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But I literally cannot believe that this is the view right now. I'm losing my mind. We have the castle on the top of the city. The city itself. It looks so romantic in this evening light. Everyone is out and about by the mountains to have their meal. They have so many street cats all over the city. And they're so friendly and so cute, aren't you? 
I already touched it and I sanitized my hands, so I'm not gonna touch it again. In other words, darling, kiss me. The next morning, we visited the Skenduli house, which was more than 300 years old. And we were fortunate enough to get a tour from the owner of the house himself, who is the descendant of the Skenduli family. He showed us so many different secret passageways and secret ladders and all of these other strategies that the house had to protect the family from invaders. It was so cool and it was the perfect glimpse of how life used to look back in the day, the traditions they had, and even the gender roles during the time period. This was one of the richest houses in Girocastro because it had nine fireplaces, and the more fireplaces you have, the richer your family is considered. Six bathrooms, 12 rooms, 44 doors, 64 windows, and four hammams or the Turkish baths. Thank mm -hmm. you.